Hey guys, Gaming CS here with another gear review. This is of the P lighter. Uh, now this is the little brother to the peanut lighter from Countycom by EA Toll, and all it is is basically the insert of a Zippo. Um, now if I open this up, it's actually I believe it's waterproof. It's all stainless steel construction, and it's got a little O-ring down here, and it's squished down pretty tight. Uh, and on the cap, it's just a round little little pill shape, and uh, it's just got this little itty bitty little uh, key ring on it, and it's really cool. It gives you a little turning knob just to torque it off. It's really nice because it's kind of smooth, and if your hands are cold or slippery or something, you won't be able to get a whole lot of grip on it. So that's nice to have a little, a little something. All right. So here I've had the lighter, and I can get my magnifying glass. And I mean, all it is is a striker, a really small strike wheel. With some flint under here, and it leads down to there, and a very small wick which got squished down. And I can't light it this close, so I'm going to put down the magnifying glass and strike it. It's it's the same concept. It's got cotton in here with a wick, and bam, it's lit. It's phenomenal. Uh, my new motto is redundancy is key, as I'm sure you've noticed. And me my <coughs> excuse me, me carrying my Zippo and the P lighter is exactly that. It's redundancy. So, that's really cool. Now, something I'm really confused at, though, is uh, that light's on the first strike every time. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's the flints used or maybe just the spark per uh, per uh, wick, is, pick wick ratio is better or something. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. It's completely boggled my mind, but for some reason, and I have the same fluid in them. I, I had to fill both of them up. They, they are not legally allowed to ship fluid through the mail uh, in a container, but this, oh, actually that took two tries, well, <laughs> normally when I try it, it takes 13 or 14 tries to get started, which really kills my flints, which really bugs me, so, um, well, I'm glad it works now, of course, when it's on camera, it actually counts, anyway, um, yeah, so they're really cool, now the flame on here is not that tall, it's really dingy. It's just itty bitty. Nope, that's not gonna stay. It's an itty bitty. Actually, that's getting kind of hot. I'm gonna blow that out. Um, yeah, that's definitely getting hot. It's a small little thing. It doesn't take much. It's almost a survival lighter. Uh, it's not wind resistant at all. <laughs> the the slightest breeze will put it out because how small the wick is. So I'd be careful about that. It's just a small little lighter. If you're, it's actually this would be perfect for. Uh, fusing ropes, small ropes, paracord, nylon, tether cord, whatever, that kind of stuff. Just let this sit on the table, fuse it, you're done, move on to the next one, go forth. And it's great, and you actually clench it in your hand and take away a lot of the heat and disperse. I'm not going to get my Zippo to burn out, I don't want it to do that, or to kill my camera. And there you go, get the smoke out. Uh, anyway, so, oh, I want to move it off camera. There we go. Put it back in my little homemade stand. Uh, yeah, so it's phenomenal. I really, I recommend this. This is in my top five things you should have in your gear of your EDC. It's great. If you don't want to carry a full-size Zippo, which I'm sure a lot of you guys don't want to, or some of you might not even have a need to, but it's going to be that one rare occasion you need a lighter. And you don't have a big lighter because sometimes they're a little bulky or just kind of a weird shape or you don't like them because they're butane, it's pressurized, and if you go into a welding room, it could explode. <laughs> um, I don't know. If you just don't, if you don't have a Zippo and you don't want to buy a big or something, that is the way to go. Just pop, pop it on your keychain, you'll forget about it. It's enclosed, so it will keep the fluid in there for a long time. And bam, it's there when you need it. So, I would get it. It weighs like two ounces. It's Stinky. Whatever. Anyway, uh, that's another gear review. Actually, it's run a little bit longer than I thought. Yeah, so, uh, great little piece of equipment. I, it's a must-have, I think. Anyway, uh, thanks, you guys, for again for watching, and have a nice day.